uh, Ram to build its first EV truck, and it asks real folks for input. The Ram Revolution website lets regular people learn about and give input on the Ram 1500 EV. And all of a sudden, Mo, he looked up. He was looking down. The crypto talk was too much for him. Mm -hmm. He went down. He's like, let me get some work done. But the EV truck, he's like, hmm. Well, right. you know me. I was a big fan of that Lightning. I'm kind of really excited. Do I know you, Mo? You know me <laughs> a little bit. It's been a minute. Because <laughs> you can imagine them rolling it over here, and then, yep. and then we make a video. But, I'm excited to shoot but it. But the thing is, it's set to launch in 2024. So oh, they're, boy. They're a ways off right now. But it's kind of cool that they're asking the fans, they're mm -hmm. asking the customers what they want to see. Ram has launched ramrevolution.com to gather real-world input from consumers on its upcoming Ram 1500 EV. It'll also conduct a year-long series called the Ram Real Talk Tour. Oh, vans. To learn what... Oh, what was that one? They're going to do vans, too. Big van oh, guy. Nice. You think Big do van, van guy. Van guy, Mo. I like van life. This holiday season. <laughs> Big Mo in his big van. EV van. Coming to a town near you. Uh, it'll also conduct a, a, a year-long series called Ram Real Talk Tour to learn what owners want. Uh, when it arrives in 2024, it'll compete with F-150 Lightning. I mean, I feel it's going to be too late. Too little, too late, Will. I really do like the effort mm. put into this. Mm. Like, hearing what people want yeah. and then actually building it. Yeah. But I agree with you, man. I feel like it's really late. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. It feels late to say 2024, but all these other guys are delayed too. I know, but isn't there going to be an offset? Once they start building it, is it's it? just going to be another headache. It's uh, going to take another two years. I don't know. I mean, there's an argument. I'm not saying RAM is like Apple, but there's an argument right. that you wait, let the Gen 1 go, and then you see what people Learn want. From their and, mistakes. And, and you kind of implement some of these things and um, figure out some of the pain points. But the part I was trying to get at is just it's so hard to get a ha get your hands on an EV truck anyway mm. right now that who cares, 2024? People are just putting a deposit and then like, I'll get it when I get it type of thing. Yeah, reservation. Cyber truck, Riv Rivian truck, mm -hmm. every truck. Bronco. Oh. Well, it's not EV, but <laughs> I have really to put it in there. Who <laughs> wants to talk Bronco? <laughs> No. You, you had to hijack the whole story. <laughs> what are you talking about? Trucks there. To just I tell everybody you know. in the world. Broncos are very hard to get. About your Bronco. I'm just going to. Okay, you know, so Will change, Will change his mind. Oh, why are you going there? Well, you went there, man. I didn't go there. Will's, no, Will is having a midlife crisis, all right? <laughs> he realizes life so is. So rude to he, say He this. realizes life is half over. And. Uh, at first, he said, I know how to solve this. I'm going to head out there and get myself a Toyota 4Runner. That's what happened. And he told all, overlanding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he told all of you guys on this show that that's what he was going to do. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. Enough time passed, and, and uh, he caught a whiff of uh, something called a Bronco in the meantime. Yeah. And just like everyone else has, because it's such a cool vehicle, and then it didn't help. Doug DeMiro's got his hands all over it. Uh huh. And then they put. And then the, the Raptor then they came put, out. They had all the footage the from the, exactly. And yeah. Will was like, "Let me dabble." And he goes to the website. And he starts building his very own Bronco to his specification. Yeah. And uh, he's smacking his lips. <laughs> he's hungry for Bronco. <laughs> A little and, bit of drool, but they but they're hard to come by because they're so popular, mm -hmm. and it's just the it's the case right now in automotive. Like it's hard to get your hands on anything popular. But anyway, you guys, let me know in the comments which trim level Bronco should Will get. What is the best balance? What is the optimal trim level? If you end up going on the website when you go to build it, I already know what his is. His uh, trim yeah. level, trim level, and I options. didn't take any time showing you. No, well, no, I mean, I can't avoid it. It's right like, when you walked you in. You gave me a whole PowerPoint presentation. Exactly, you with know, the laser I, pointer. I do this, I do that. Yeah. But you guys, you guys let me know, or throw a wild card option for him, like not a Bronco, but for a guy who is having a midlife crisis, what he should actually get. Sure. We want to see We want to see that in the uh, comments as well. Yeah. 